Welcome guys, let me introduce my ingredients to you here. I have a mixture of margarine and sugar, partially whipped. I have Oreos, I have eggs, this milk, and I have blueberry fruit, and this vanilla essence. We are going to use vanilla essence for flavor. Also, I have the deep dry ingredients. We have wheat flour and baking powder and my things not so ready for baking. So guys, we are going to continue whipping. Uh, our oven is yet to start preheating, but I will be turning it on in a few. So let's continue whipping our mixture of margarine and sugar. We are going to whip this until the mixture, all the sugar dissolves in margarine. <coughs> Sorry guys, and this is the point where you take your sweet time to ensure that they all dissolve in sugar, they all, they all the sugar dissolves in margarine. I'm just going to add my flavor and continue whipping this vanilla essence, we are using vanilla essence. And the reason why we are using this is because we are going to fold in fruits and also Oreos. I'm adding some salt. This helps in neutralizing the sugar levels. Remember we have so much sugar, so we are just going to do a pinch of salt. We usually add salt immediately after flavor. And continue mixing. Like I told you guys, you have to ensure that all sugar is well dissolved. That's the secret behind a sweet and a good cake. Ensure the sugar is well dissolved in the margarine before adding in anything else. We're using the hand mixer at the moment. Remember, uh, this is a 1 kg cake. I'm sorry guys, I didn't introduce my ingredients to you. But in, a, in my next video, I will ensure that I give you the measurements right. So keep it here, keep tuned, keep subscribing to my channel for more content. Continue whipping until all the sugar dissolves. You can as well smile because you know the results are going to be awesome. I've been into baking for 11 months now and I can say the industry is good and it responds well. Let's add our eggs at this point. Yeah, these are four eggs. For one kg we use four eggs or 200 grams. Or 200 grams of eggs yeah I partially added the eggs and I'm, I'm whipping more to ensure that they mix properly with the, with the sugar butter mixture Ooh, it's late at night guys but I have to fulfill the client's orders. Usually, I do bakings at night and decorations in the morning, very early in the morning. So that means over the weekend, I rarely sleep. I have added the last batch of the of the eggs of my eggs, and I am going to mix them properly. Just scooping the side, the pits on the side to ensure that they all mix properly. So I'm just moving them to the center so that they can meet the beating. Yes, they have to be well mixed, of course. Like I said, you have to give your clients the best, that's what I believe. And this cake is for a returning client, a returning satisfied client. Remember for, for a client to come back, they must be happy. So this is a one happy client that I'm doing her 
another order she has requested for vanilla and chocolate flavor but i decided let me just put on my oven i am preheating the oven now at 150 degrees for like 10 minutes so by the time i'm done mixing this the oven will be well heated so let me add in some some milk it's not fresh milk guys this fermented milk or rather mara or yogurt so the reason why i'm moving away guys is because of the wheat wheat flour dust at this point i'm supposed to be having my mask on but i just realized that i don't have one in the house so i'm moving away to avoid the dust coming into contact with my nose it's not like you know dust is not good for your lungs yeah and for your respiratory system so i'm done mixing that's all but i'll have the, the remaining part i'll mix using the spatula i'm supposed to mix using the whipping whisk but it's not much to that requires a whisk so i'm just going to fold with spatula to ensure all is well mixed Ooh, I hope you guys are not sleeping. I'm so sleepy. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm just lucky that I'm only having one order today. Some weekends, especially to, like today on a Friday, are usually crazy. But today I'm a bit relaxed. You can see I have don't have much pressure. So I'm going to grease my pan, my baking tins first. I'm using margarine to glaze my pan ensure it's there well glazed to avoid your cake sticking on the pan and it it can be messy it can be messy if they stick it it's going to be messy so be very careful you can see the margarine is all distributed not too much guys so i'm going to pour some flour just a little bit on top to coat the margarine layer so that your cake won't sweat well in the oven and become um what to be like for dreaming oh my god i'm so sleepy anyway we have to push to the end You can see the things are well greased and dusted, well dusted I mean. Sorry, that's my couch. It's it's so noisy. I just poured the excess flour. I'm just confirming that the mixture is well mixed and I can't feel I can't feel if it's okay I've divided the mixture into two so one in one bowl I'm going to add Oreos and on the other one I'm going to add blueberries So the Oreos are going, I'm just going to crush the Oreos a little bit 
you can crush them into powder form but uh, i like them crunchy so i'm just going to cut them into quite some big sizes guys if you're new here karibu sana and if you're a returning uh viewer please don't forget to subscribe let's give this video a thumbs up and in case you have any question just put it in the comment section i will handle all your question in another video or i can just reply to your request or to your question i'm folding in the oreos we have to be very gentle we have to be very gentle while doing this final mix because a slight mess is going to make your cake sink or rather not rise as you would expect mm. like i told guys i told you it's quite late i'm tired had a busy day i'm supposed to be sleeping but i have to put a smile on a client's face this is a cake that i'm supposed to deliver tomorrow no though not so early but i'm planning to wake up go to salon first before doing the delivery i'm spreading the mixture properly Here we have the blueberries. Let me just clear my hands and take a little bit of wheat flour and sprinkle on top of the blueberries. The reason why we are doing this is to ensure that the flour soaks the sucks, I mean, yeah, the sweetness, all the bit part of the blueberries i've cut these blueberries into two and i'm going to add some bit a bit of the other paste in the other baking tin spread it properly and later add some blueberries i'm not adding all of them i'm just adding a few of them I'm just adding a few of them. And then add the remaining paste. So this I have a cold. That's my it's it as nice. I'm so sleepy. Oh my goodness, I'm so sleepy. Once you're done putting the remaining paste, make sure you've spread it so well. And then add the fruits to balance. I mean, you should it's well spread mm -hmm. to the sides, to the sides, make sure it's well spread to the sides. We don't want our kids to rise on some sides and the other sides to be a bit low. We want a leveled cake so that we don't struggle while decorating. I don't like cutting my cakes, so... That's why I first use two tins and secondly ensure my cakes are leveled. I'm putting the blue the remaining blueberries on top. Like so. Like so, 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 and we're done. So I'm going to tap the tin twice 
then the other one as well and put them in the in my oven just remember we've preheated our oven at 150 degrees at 150 degrees and so we go let's give our cake one hour I'm sure they will be ready for this don't forget to subscribe to this page leave a comment if you have any question please leave it in the comment section i'll give you a feedback if not today i will do another video explaining or clarifying all the things that you need to hear or to know so at this point let me clear the table to ensure i have enough space for decoration and i did tell you guys I'm just clearing the table yeah that's my thing my working table or my working space I'm just ensuring it's clean we give eat some time to cook and we will be back to see the results so stay here stay tuned so we are back guys it's one hour later which let's check on our cakes to see how they are doing looking for a skewer yeah to check if the cake is ready <laughs> Sorry guys, like I told you, I have a bit of cold. Oops, I released my kitchen towels are outside. So let me just use the disposable one. Although it's not the best, but I don't feel like going outside. I'm so sleepy. Okay. <laughs> So here we have the cakes. Ooh. Are you already enjoying the results? The cakes are ready and they are good, they are okay. So I can switch off my oven. Another thing I forgot to buy are the boards. I'm supposed to be having boards, but I don't have one, guys. So I will use this. Uh, Vifunikos. I can't remember the English name, but if you can remember, just comment, put it in the comment section, guys. Yeah, and get the spatula. So I'm going to detach the sides to ensure that no cake is stuck on the sides. Sorry guys for the background noise. Make sure it's not too stuck. You're not ready for the results. I know you're not ready guys. You're not. You can't. So if you need to make any order within Nairobi, just holler at 0785, sorry, at 0745-748-350. That is 0745-748-350. Let's now see our cake. Let's now see how our cake look like. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh. So there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, at the final results. 
so that's our 1 kg cake like i told you guys my 1 kg cakes are usually so big and you can already see and you can already tell so keep it here keep it tuned give it a like a thumbs up and remember to share so that i can bring you more content so here we have the oreo cake yes you can see the oreos and we have the blueberry cake oh yes that's what we have for today guys until tomorrow